dozens of local models dress in their thrift store best for tomorrow's FERC fashion show. Phil Lindemann, Crystal. 93 News. First, an Eagle County jury has ruled that Taft Conlin, the 13-year-old skier killed by an inbounds avalanche at Vail in 2012, was to blame for his death. The Vail Daily reports the trial hinged on the Colorado Skier Safety Act, a piece of legislation that protects ski resorts from lawsuits. The Safety Act says avalanches are an inherent risk of skiing, and the jury agreed, saying Vail ski patrollers followed the law. The Conlin family has been trying to sue Vail Resorts for six years. A win would have brought sweeping changes to ski area management and liability. Move over, Frisco Barbecue. This weekend's Leadville Barbecue and Brew Fest is the highest in the world. Dozens of barbecue masters from across the nation come to 10,152 feet for the event, and you'll recognize a few from Frisco. We have a lot of Colorado barbecuers coming up this weekend. Many of them you probably saw in Frisco, including Golden Toad and Carnivores, who is a, definitely a favorite. That was Tracy Purdy with Leadville Barbecue. The weekend brings a sanctioned barbecue contest with $10,152 in cash for the winners. There are also food vendors, local breweries, and live music from the Poland Warsaw Brothers, all in downtown Leadville. We're definitely a unique event. We're a unique place, and if you haven't been up to Leadville, we're really growing and changing, and we'd love to see some new faces. The festival is open tomorrow and Saturday, beginning at 10 a.m. both days. Harrison Street will be closed from 4th to 8th Avenue at 5 p.m. tonight. Get more info at leadvillebbq.com. East Coast artist Albert Paley likes to think of abstract art as music or sometimes Kung Pao chicken. I mean, every time I have a Chinese meal, it always tastes different, I think. Paley is in town this week for the unveiling of Sincline, his 24-foot-tall blue abstract piece of steel artwork in downtown Breckenridge. He has shown works at the Guggenheim in Europe and the Met in New York, but Breck and the outdoor lifestyle appeals to him. It's interactive like skiing's interactive. I mean, you have the snow and you have your poles and you have your skis and it's what happens in between. Tonight, Breck Create shows a film about Paley's process, followed by a Q&A with Paley himself. He welcomes the public, especially folks who might not like the piece he designed. It isn't just, is it a dog, is it a horse, is it a whatever, that it's an experience. Tonight's free event with artist Albert Paley is at the Old Masonic Hall in downtown Breck, beginning at 5.30 p.m. Here's the story of a lovely lady. The Brady Bunch, Sesame Street, and 60 years of TV classics come to life tomorrow for the annual FERC Fashion Show. It's the FERC's biggest fundraiser of the year when more than 80 local models, from toddlers to seniors, walk the runway in thrift store clothing. It is going to be a lot of fun. We have over 50 television shows represented in the show, and we shop at all of the thrift stores to find the outfits. That was Anita Overmeyer with FERC. The show has raised $600,000 in seven years, and this year, Overmeyer wants to raise $200,000. All money goes back to FERC programs, including health and child care assistance. This isn't your typical fashion show. It is a lot of fun. It's fun fashion. It's costume fashion and thrift store fashion. Tickets to the FERC fashion show are $75 apiece and available online or in person. The show starts at 6 p.m. tomorrow at the Riverwalk Center. Local first responders were supposed to hold a wildfire drill above Wilderness today, but Fire Chief Jeff Barino told residents last week the Buffalo Fire was practice enough. I think we're off the hook for that one. What do you guys think? <laughs> Instead, Summit County celebrates the summer solstice with a wildfire prevention party. Join Smokey the Bear today at the Silverthorne Pavilion. There's info on wildfire mitigation for adults, plus face painting and games for kids. That's the wildfire prevention solstice party today at Silverthorne Pavilion, beginning in about one hour at 5 p.m. A quick update on wildfires across the state. The San Juan National Forest reopens today after closing this past week for wildfire danger. Two fires in the Durango area are nearly 40% contained after burning a combined 38,000 acres since June 1st. In Summit, fire danger is currently high. The county and White River National Forest remain under level 1 fire ban, meaning no fireworks or open fires. In sports, the Rockies lead the Mets right now, 6-3 in the ninth inning. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports, yesterday was the second race in the Summit Mountain Challenge Town Series, the Gold Run Rush at French Gulch in Breckenridge, where Sam O'Keefe won the men's pro title in 1 hour, 11 minutes, 14 seconds. Teenager Ezra Smith won the women's pro race in 125-20. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.